Hey guys, welcome back to Herb's Life. This is your man Herb. Today we're I'm just gonna show you a tutorial of Armor 3, a basic tutorial of the editor of how to basically create your own scenarios and um, also how to get the multiplayer in single player. I'm not gonna go too in depth with this one. Maybe the next video we can start going in depth. But um, let's get started here. Um, as you can see, I'm not running any mods. This is just basic vanilla. Uh, so we'll start with Tanoa. Let's just click continue. Alright guys, once we get into the basic editor, as you can see, it always loads up with a 3D, 3D view. Um, you know, to scroll in and out, use the scroll wheel to scroll in and out. WASD is to move forward. If you hold shift while it's moving, you get to do a fast move um, and stuff like that. If you press M, M takes you to your map. If you click your scroll wheel in it brings your camera around anywhere so you can just bring it around and press M you know start looking back around um, what else is there it's pretty much basically the basics of it okay so let's just say we have our opposing force and they're attacking here or something so usually what I do when I start off editor and I start off to make my own tutorial you know, to make my own scenarios I really don't lay down any of these guys yet and I'm gonna show you why so this is my basic steps what I start off with first is I go to my systems I drop down a Zeus I drop down the game master once that's dropped I double click into it and this is where we're gonna to have to write down a couple things. So for the owner, I usually just write my name. For add-ons, I usually go to all add-ons, including unofficial ones, because I've downloaded some that aren't from Steam and I will load these up. So once that's equipped and every other, once that's all done, just click okay. And this right here would set your Zeus down. And there's a reason why you put the owner and I'm gonna show you why. So then after I'm done doing that, I usually go up to multiplayer, click my respawn position and bring my respawn position out. And this is why I usually bring my respawn position. Well, it's gonna start respawning here. I usually don't put it right here, but you know, for just the end, for the video's sake, I'm gonna show you what I usually do. So I double click into that also. You don't have to put a name or anything. Uh, the type infantry uh, the sides now this is where you have to change it instead of leading sides you put it for your side and then to show for everyone you want to change that and click only the side and once that's enabled click OK and after you're done doing that you go to your attributes go to multiplayer where it says respawn it says disabled Put on respawn on custom position select respawn loadout select respawn position put your delay up you have to put this up put it for five seconds otherwise you're going to just keep respawning inside of the water so once you put those two up uh, you also have the option to put in a revive mode um i don't think the ai really revives i've never really tried it so i you know i couldn't tell you if they do or don't but i know this is for the multiplayer part but for this sake, I'll show you what it does. Um, you click enabled for all players. And that's literally all you have to do. And once you're done, you click OK. And now your multiplayer is active. Your respawn position is active. Your Zeus is active and everything. But remember, wherever you lay this respawn at, that's where you're going to be respawning. So remember that. So then after that, what I do is I actually have a custom character that I had made 
but for this sake we're just gonna just lay down a regular guy um, let's just lay down here somewhere lay down. I usually lay down all right so I've seen people lay down a civilian and put him in the most random spot so that way they can use I honestly just lay down a regular infantry because they don't run away they won't run away when something happens you don't have to do so much crazy stuff with them and all that so after i lay this one guy down this is the reason why i don't lay any other people down and you're going to see why let me find out where i'm at first belfort okay so we're in belfort let's just say we're gonna build um i guess a little fob up here or something so i lay this guy down and this is why you only lay one of these people down and you don't do anything else so if i am still in this screen the only thing else i would be laying down besides my infantry is props which you can usually find right here and these give you all different types of stuff you can drop down different types of weapons and you know weapon caches and stuff like that for you to take stuff from you drop signs ruins you know they have a bunch of different things that you could drop down and if you also go to the group one and put it they have different stuff like civilian checkpoints roadblocks you know and stuff like that if you lay it down it'll have a whole roadblock for you to put down as you can see you know um but i would only lay props and stuff down in this screen i wouldn't lay down guys and there's a reason why i'm gonna show you why in fact i can show it to you right now actually so we see this guy right here that i have i'm able to select him right now and highlight him but that's because i'm only in that's because i'm still an editor so once i go to play and this is to show you how to get respawns also because there's no respawns in single player but now that we've laid our respawn position down and we laid our zeus down when i lay this guy down what i want to do is i go to his name i double click on his name and where it says varial name i type in the name that i wrote for the owner <clears throat> i type in the name that i wrote for the owner on my zeus encountered restricted character oh i actually didn't even I didn't even type the name okay so once you type your name click okay and now this guy right here is going to be the owner of the zeus so you go to play and make sure you go to play in multiplayer you can change the name of the game because you'll be on a land server password one two three and put some stupid stuff there's a click OK. Now, once you click OK, right, you actually have the option of locking your server. So you don't need to worry about if anybody's coming in or whatever. Lock your server. Click OK. Now you're basically in a single player multiplayer mode. And the reason why you do this is so that way, once you click continue here, where we had laid down our respawn position, now we get the respawn and if we die we can still respawn there at any time now so this is our guy and now that we gave him Zeus access and he's the owner if you press Y it'll bring up your Zeus menu and this is another reason why I said only lay down one character because look now since we're in Zeus I can't highlight him no more I can't move my character I can't do anything anymore my character's pretty much there and he's not moving. <laughs> so, I don't even think I have another guy laid down here or not. But that's where I have with that, yeah. So, as you can see, we can't can't even click our character. In fact, I just already lost him because <laughs> we can't click him. There he goes. So, usually now, what I would do is I would start laying down either my infantry and stuff. And this is the reason why I lay them down in and Zeus instead because like I said you can't highlight this guy no more you can't even do anything with him I'm clicking him and I can't drag him I can't do anything so I uh, usually just say for instance I have a rifle squad now my rifle squad shows up you see versus him not showing up and if I did want to and if I want to play as my rifle squad what I would do is 
go back to modules, go to Zeus, and use the remote control. And once you put the remote control on him, you'll be able to access them. But for right now, we still have opposing forces we still need to lay down. So let's just say my, I got my squad here. You know, we haven't started yet, but let's just say the opposing force is taking over here. So I have M to go to map, click in the scroll wheel to take your camera in different places. Click M back again. And let's just say my opposing force is here. What I'll do is I usually have like a bunch of different stuff. I'll probably put roadblocks on all the roads to block all the roads up for them and everything. But I'm going to show you some some other things. So go to my opposing force. My infantry. Let's say I got a recon squad running, walking around. And I want them to, instead of just stand here, I need them to patrol. So I'll go back to modules. I'm not too certain if I have them on here without the uh without the uh the mods actually because it's usually the mods that have it okay well at least have it here I guess what is this attack defend get in no oh they don't have it hmm I probably should have put the mods on there. <laughs> so usually you can actually have it to where you can have them walking around. So like say for instance, I drop this protect down here. You can actually have them where you want them to protect how much of the map marker, protect just 1% of it and everything like that. Or, you know, attack and defend this area too I want them to defend you can change how much and how big the sizes of the area that you want them to you know, could set it for whichever for bigger you know protect this area you know but the other the other when you have mods you can actually have them patrol around you can have them patrol the, the bigger area you can have them patrol the whole island actually um, have them in cars have them in what's it called so Let's say we have our team down here, put them down here. Now we can lay down props. You know, we need we need roadblocks. You know, did these guys build this up in haste? Here, put a hasty roadblock down. You can put the once you put the roadblock down. Say for instance you want to turn it, you would hold shift and you can actually have access to spin it all around, or if you hold alt, you can bring it up and down now at this point up down you know um, what else is there this is just the basic tutorial so I'm not really going too 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 in depth because there's more stuff like triggers you can use triggers and different stuff you have your markers here um and all these different different scenarios and different stuff that you can put down but this is just the basic tutorial right here um, you can also change the skills limit and everything. And once you're done, like I said, you can go back to your squad. If you want to control a person, what I would do is go to Zeus, remote control, bring your remote control, and now you have full control. But the problem is, when you control these characters, you don't control your teams, which kind of sucks. Like, I don't know why they would do it that way, where you don't have full control. They'll follow you, but you can't order them to get into different places. You know, they'll definitely follow you. But. So once you got your you got your team, you got everybody with you, and all that, you can play your single player. If you need to get back into Zeus, you press Y at any time. It'll bring you back up to Zeus. You could bring down your cars, you could put down whatever you need. Mm. So, this is just a basic tutorial. And I was just trying to set up and show you guys how to do different scenarios. Um, you can lay your forces down anywhere. Um, I'll probably go into a more in-depth one where to actually have like triggers and mission briefings and different stuff like that this was just to show you how to lay down your opposing forces where you can also lay them down anywhere if you download the mods the mods like i said will have it to where you can 
basically you have your where you, where you can have them patrol and different stuff they have different mods do different stuff for your ai and you can have them patrol the whole area if you want you can have them even attack you guys while y'all are sitting down here you know or anything there's different stuff to lay down um just experiment with it really and and you'll be able to find and build your own different scenarios use the use everything to your liking make sure you just look at everything i mean got blue smoke got scenario flows i'm gonna show you how to do all of this the next time for for part two where you could set up your own your own stuff basically and how to do scenarios um but this is just the basic edit uh, tutorial to show you how to lay down and how to get respawns because there's no respawn on single player so comment like and subscribe guys and tell me what you think about the video um i'm gonna try to get part two out um tell me also what you would like to see in the videos too if you want a more more in-depth um maybe i can actually like have one where i'm just actually setting up this the setting up the scenario probably no commentary um just let me know what you want so comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye